वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल एंड आई गॉट रिक्वेस्ट लाइक आई शुड मेक एक्सप्लेनेशन वीडियो फॉर दिस लैब सो हियर इट इज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट लॉग इन इन क्रेडेंशियल्स देन क्लिक ऑन द चेक बॉक्स एंड क्लिक ऑन कंटिन्यू नाउ जस्ट सिंपली कम ऑन द टास्क नंबर वन स्क्रोल अप अ लिटिल बिट एंड हियर यू कैन सी दिस टू एपीए सो जस्ट कॉपी दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस फर्स्ट एपीए नेम come back over here just simply search over here and in marketplace you can see this api just open this thing new tab now just simply scroll down then copy this api name just simply search over here and just open this thing in new tab like this okay now just simply click over here click on this enable option then come back over here just wait and then click on this enable option i will request you please follow the way i am doing this live it will be very helpful for you now just simply come on this and just simply search for the vm instance open this thing in new tab come back over here just wait for a second and then click on this ssh button and here you can see both the apis are enabled now as you can see okay now just simply come on the task number one scroll down little bit copy this first command and make sure that you have to run each and every command of task number one okay just copy this first command go back to your ssh and run the command over here again scroll down then copy the second command of task number one run scroll down copy this and run copy this now run over here then copy this paste scroll down now you have to run each and every command and just like this and this is the last command of task number 1 run it and it's done now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay just wait and see as you can see now just simply come on here and just simply search for the database migration and just click over here just wait and then click on this connection profile now click on this create profile scroll down little bit and then copy this name okay let me just zoom in make sure that you don't have to copy the full stop okay so just copy this like this from here you have to just choose postgres sql and paste the name over here now for the host name go back to your virtual machine and just copy this internal ip come back over here paste over here like this now for the username and password just watch the video carefully copy this username as you can see i didn't copy the full stop just copy the name paste over here now for the password just copy like this as you can see i didn't copy this full stop and this extra space okay just copy like this okay please be careful over here okay just copy this paste over here let me just show you as you can see there is no extra space okay now scroll down and here you can see region for me the region is us west one east one sorry so i'm just going to choose that us east one you have to just choose wisely okay just simply scroll down and click on this create okay just wait and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay now once you're done with this task number two just refresh the page okay then click on this migration job then click on this create job now just simply scroll down just copy this name let me just zoom in over here copy this name carefully do not copy that full stop just copy the name paste over here like this now from here you have to just choose portuguese sql like this now from here you have to just choose cloud sql now if you remember for me the region is us east one so i'm going to choose that like this okay now for the job type you have to just choose continuous now just simply scroll down and click on save and continue just wait and it's done now for the source just simply click over here and if you are not able to find this just refresh the page okay then click over here then click on save and continue now just wait now 
here please pay attention okay for the point number three this is a very important part of this lab for the destination id just simply scroll down okay just simply scroll down we have done with this now here you can see create a destination instance so just copy this name carefully do not copy that full stop just copy this name and replace over here like this okay now just copy the password do not copy that full stop just copy the password like this paste over here let me just show you the password as you can see okay now for the version you have to just choose 13 and from here please pay attention click on this show zone and instead of any you have to just choose which is given on the lab instruction for me the zone is us east 1b so i'm going to choose that like this okay now just simply scroll down click on this private ip checkbox and then click on this allocate and connect it is going to take a couple of minutes so just wait and it's done now just simply scroll down now for the machine type you have to just choose standard scroll down and for the for the storage capacity just choose a 10 gb like this and just simply click on create and continue then click on this create destination and continue now this thing is going to take at least 5 to 10 minutes so just wait and now here just simply click on this vpc pairing and here you can see it start creating so just wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes after that we will move forward with the next task
and it's finally done now just simply click on this configure and continue now just wait then click on this test job and if you face the error over here you have to just restart the lab you can't do anything you have to just restart the lab perform the task again just wait and let's see and as you can see if you didn't face an error over here as you can see i got a green tick then click on this create and start a new job then click on this start now just wait for a couple of minutes now click over here like this and just wait so as you can see the status is starting now and when the status is in running state then we will move forward to the next task and finally the status changes to running okay now click over here and then just activate your cloud shield it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that now here please pay attention if you just let me just zoom out over here if you just simply scroll down we have done with all these tasks just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay now here please pay attention on the task number four now just simply scroll down and you don't have to perform all these tasks just simply come on this update standalone source data just simply come on this task just click over here copy this command click on this continue now just wait click on this got it and make sure that you have to run this command only okay just copy this paste over here just wait click on authorize now it's asking for the password scroll down copy this password paste over here just paste and hit enter password will not visible for us we have to just copy and paste it now just copy this command paste over here then copy this command paste over here and then copy this and if you can see over here you can see insert one row okay and just paste okay now just for the cross verification just copy this command paste over here now this copy copy this password just wait it will ask for the password and again password will not visible for us so we have to just paste the password and hit enter and it's done now it's asking for the password just just paste the password and hit enter and now we are connected to database now just simply scroll down copy this command 
run over here now again just copy the same password paste over here and hit enter now copy this and now please check over here just paste this query and here you can see the number of rows are 11 okay the reason is we already add one row before okay now just simply scroll down copy this command and run over here okay now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue just wait and see and as you can see we got a score now task number 5 is very easy just simply come on this task just wait and click on this promote option then click on this promote now just wait for to show the status as completed and once it's done you are done with this lab so just wait for a couple of minutes and let's see and as you can see status is completed now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys